Welcome back. Today's review is going to be showcasing the Shadow Facts, a lesser known fairy driver from Prodigy, which is part of local legend Kaole Visca's signature lineup of discs. For the flight numbers, the Shadow Facts Speed 9, Glide 5, Turn Negative 2, and a fate of a 1.5. Let's go ahead, jump on in, taking a look at the profile and the feel. So it does have a little bit of a slight dome to it. Wouldn't call it pop top, wouldn't call it flat, just because it has, just has that really just nice bit of dome, which for both backhand and forehand makes it pretty comfortable for both styles of grip. It does fill the hand pretty well for the backhand grip, and it's flat enough that in this 400 series plastic, which is a little bit on kind of on the softer, slightly gummier side, you can manipulate the flight plate enough that you can get a decent flat feel for those four hand grips. When it comes to the flight, the first thing that stood out to me is that the Shadowfax holds torque better than I was expecting. At first, I thought it was going to be very flippy out of the hand and then just kind of maybe at the very end of the flight have a decent amount of fade, but I was wrong. Out of the hand, this thing does have a decent amount of torque resistance, so if you are kind of a slower, medium arm speed player, this is going to ride very, very straight. You do have to put a good amount of torque on this disc to get it to hold a bit of turn, and even when you do throw it on, say, like Anheuser lines, it does have enough late stability that it's going going to try to level itself out, it's going to try to fight its way back, even with extra torque from forehand, you're, that's when you're going to see kind of what you're kind of expecting. These shots where it's going to get a bit of meandering, kind of a gentle drift in the mid-flight before checking up and having a kind of a stronger finish. But again, if you're medium, slower arm, this is going to kind of ride more like this. It's going to ride straight, slightest of turn drift in that mid-flight before having that stable finish. So what are the benefits of that flight? Well, one, it means this is a very good forehanding disc because it can handle that extra amount of torque. So if you like to forehand shots, this could be a good fairy driver for you, but it's good for the woods. If you need something where you need to hold something fairly straight, or maybe just get a little bit of turn to get around something in the mid flight, but then know it's gonna check up and it's gonna hyzer back towards the very end of the flight. Additionally, since it does have that sneaky resistance to torque in the early part of the flight, it actually makes a fairly decent wind fighting driver for slower medium arms. But again, you big arms, this is gonna be a great hyzer flipping fairway driver. Now with the course usage, you can see here, you've got a tight tunnel, a gap that you have to hit, and you know what? Being a lefty, I like taking the forehand route. I can throw it flat, know that I'm gonna get just that little bit of turn in that mid flight, keeping it in the middle of the fairway before having just that little bit of a hyzer back at the very end to keep me next to the basket. On this hole, you have a tree on the left that you don't wanna grip lock it into, and then a tree on the right, making it that you can't go directly at the basket. Just a nice stock flat shot for a lefty, let it ride out straight, and then as the shadow fact slows down, you get that nice predictable baby fade. This next shot is just like the first one that we saw, just a little bit more forgiving. You have one tree really on the right that you want to miss, and then that group of trees on the left that you don't want to accidentally have an early release into. Again with the shadow facts, just the babyest of hyzers, let it flip up, flip up to flat, ride pretty straight, not getting as much turn, and then again, once it slows down, it just crashes right into the basket. And then this, you have just a wall of trees between you and the basket. You have to keep it low under all the branches. And the shadow facts is just perfect for this shot. Throw it out flat, let it keep underneath all those branches, getting some turn, getting you a lot of good distance before just, again, a predictable fade at the end. Just such a good disc to kind of shape shots in the woods. So the Shadowfax does come in a decent amount of plastic type. You've got 400, 500 series, the glow as you see here, and also in air plastic if you're needing a lightweight option if you're a slower arm speed or a beginning player. Overall, the 400 series and the Glow are pretty comparable, but I do think the Glow just kind of holds a little bit better. It has just a slightly more torque resistance, which made it more trustworthy when throwing it on more extreme Anheuser angles, versus the 400, it got a little bit touchy if you gave it too much Anheuser. So overall, the Glow is just a little bit more trustworthy and forgiving. For the lefty lines, I wanted to compare the Shadow Facts against other fairway driver staples out on the market today, being the Dynasty from Infident Discs and also the Undertaker from Discraft. 
and you're going to notice right away that all of them do get a good amount of turn in the mid flight, but the Shadowfax checks up sooner out of that turn and even has a harsher finish at the very end versus like the Dynasty kind of has a more forward pushing finish. The Undertaker does have kind of that similar as soon as it slows down, it kind of more wants to dump just like you're seeing with the Shadowfax here. But then like the Dynasty might maybe just get a little bit more distance potential because it gets good turn that mid flight, it kind of stays up in the air, good glide, and then as it slows down, it pushes forward more. Shadowfax Undertaker, I think, are very comparable, which when I was with uh, Discraft, I used to love the Undertaker, so I really do like that the Shadowfax and the Undertaker are pretty comparable discs. Well, everyone, that is all I have for you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, why not? Go hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. It's a small click for you, but means wonders for the channel. Also, be sure to go visit me over on Instagram. If you have any uh, questions for me, you can uh, send them to my email address, which is down in the description below. And as always, for your next disc purchase, go visit greatlakesdisc.com. Use that promo code LEFTY at checkout and save yourself 10% off your order and help support both Great Lakes Disc and this channel in keeping this channel going. Until the next one, everyone, keep banging chains.